Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 20th of 2017. 2017. Uh, I'm going to test the internet speed and I'm going to show you some sites. I just found this site that I usually use, speedtest.net, I believe it is. And I found this site, LifeWire. I'll put the link below that uh, lists a whole bunch of sites. And so we're going to run through the test. And that's all I'm going to... Uh, well, I'll probably be saying something in between or during the test. But if you're not interested in speed test sites, then you can uh, stop watching. Now, the reason I... Decide, well, from time to time I run the test and we pay for 60 megs down and 5 up. Uh, we have uh, Charter, which I guess is called Spectrum now, and kind of irks me a little bit, but if you sign up for their TV service, I'm not sure if you have to sign up for TV and telephone service, but if you sign up for the cable TV service from them, then instead of 60 down, you get 100 down. Uh, I think probably if I called them up and said, hey, I'm going to quit, I bet you they would offer me free, you know, because it's uh, same price, I think. Anyway, uh, I think it's the same price because I would pay more for a hundred down, although I don't need it. But anyway, what got me interested, well, I ran the speed test today, and then I realized, wait a minute, I just changed my uh, wired internet connection here. I'm using a, oh, I forget what kind of computer, I'm using a desktop computer, of course. And I, I usually use, I get a little faster service with the wired connection than I do with the Wi-Fi connection, although the Wi-Fi connection is just about as good as the wired connection into it. But this is an older computer, and I've been using, you know, the uh, jack on the back for the internet cable to go into on this old computer. And I just realized uh, an hour or so ago that I, let me show you. Uh, See this device here? I don't want to disconnect anything, but it has, it's a uh, USB extension, very short cable, 3.0, and these are 3.0 jacks on it. Let's see if you can see it here. But on the end of it, there's a network connection. And I I never used it, and I never tested it. I actually probably thought that I gotta, gotta find a handkerchief here. Maybe I got one in my pants pockets. I do. I have two. Uh, so I've never used it. I mean, I've had this device, I think, for several years. And I've used it, you know, for the 3.0 USB, but I never tried the jack on the end of it for plugging in internet. So I plugged it in, and I was expecting down here on the right-hand side that this would show that it had switched over, that it had lost a wired connection, and that it had switched over to my wireless connection. And... Uh, it didn't. So I went over to, I thought, maybe it, it's always done that and been honest. Let me see if I can, no, I don't need to click. I can actually click here. And then I can click on the connection. And then I go here. So it shows I have two Ethernet connections. And, uh, this one that shows not connected 
was the one that is on the back of the computer, and this one is a new one. So it's working, so that works. So then I decided to test it, and I actually did run a speed test using speedtest.net or whatever, and uh, it's as fast as the connection on the computer, maybe it's uh, showed a little faster connection. But then I thought, since I'm, whoops, overloading here, the mic a little bit. I thought, well, since I'm going to do this, why not do it in a video so you can all see? And uh, so anyway, they have some help, a little bit of help here telling you to do things if you really want an accurate test. Uh, now, see, I'm running or in the other room in the kitchen, dining room area, there's a TV, Roku TV hooked to the Internet. My son is doing, I don't know what, playing games, watching Netflix or whatever in the other room. So uh, the best way they say, of course, would be just to take a uh, ca network cable and go right into the back of the cable modem. So this is not 100% accurate, but it'll, it'll give you, an, and it'll also compare the testing sites with the others. So, so we're going to, this here is Armstrong speed test, so we'll check it. And we will begin the test. Looks like it works pretty fast. And it, giving a speed here of about 65 down. There actually is, I made a little short little video, the AT&T for their fiber optics or whatever. I've been waiting for it. Back a few months ago, they put in the cable out on the street, hooked up the fire department with high speed, and uh, I'm just waiting for them to contact me and say they're hooking people up in this apartment complex. Uh, and it's one gig down and one gig up. This is a very good uh, test. Sometimes the upload speed is uh, not, you know, sometimes it's three, three and a half, sometimes five. Okay, this is cable one. I don't know what this is gonna look like. Let's see, start here. Why do I have to start there? Okay, speed test, I guess down here, I don't know, this one is, I don't know what this is, uh, let's see, was that AT and speed test, why did I click on, wait a minute, internet, AT and T speed test, Start. I'm not reading any of the text here, so I guess if it's slow, I will. AT and I guess well, AT and T speed test measures the speed between your computer and the internet. It does not measure the speed between the network interface device at your location and the AT and T network. Uh, Okay, this shows 66 down already, and it's showing uh, 4.5 up. That really gave the information quick, didn't it? Like I said, I'll put a link to all these. Well, I'll put a link to the site that lists all these. Okay. The cable one, did we just, didn't that just pop up? When I couldn't, yeah, that's when I couldn't figure out what they want me to do. I don't have time to cable vision. This is, this speed test feature is only available from your home internet connection. 
Okay, I don't know what that means. Sure West. Hmm. You know, these here appear to be... Okay. These appear to be... Let me click on the files, which is... See what happens with it. I think we're going to skip over, but we'll see. I think we're going to skip over... Uh, Now testing download. Testing it very slow. I don't think it's working. Maybe it is, but if it's working, it's very slow. I don't have time to read, or you don't want me to be reading, uh, so we're going to... That's funny. It uh, didn't open in a new window. See if I can get back to where I was. Yeah. Look like these are the actual internet places that you can get internet speed from. So let's skip over that and come to speed of dot me all things considered speed of dot me is the best non ISP internet speed test available it works with HTML5 okay I'm using Chrome by the way for this test Okay. Test again. I haven't. Just showing a picture of it. Let's see. Maybe this site isn't so great for. For this. Test my dot net speed test. Let's give this a try. Well, I guess I can click down here, so probably needed to do that. Okay, test my internet. Download test. They have them separate or combined. We're going to do combined here. Okay, what do we have here? There's a lot of flashing on the screen. Flashing too fast to read. Be patient. Uploading a 4.8 gigabytes of random data. Okay, here's the test and download 66 Upload 3.4. Okay. Okay, close this. Okay, I need to go back on this. I'm not sure this live wire. But you might go through and pick out one that... Okay, here is... Uh, that's the one we just did. Here's speedtest.net, the one I, I use all the time. It's displaying differently here because they're talking about it, telling you all about it. So where is the link to click on it? Okay, uh, this listing is might be something for you to check out. Let me go ahead and just jump over here and do speed test dot net the way it should look and work begin test
So I think I'm not going to go through the entire list. Uh, but I'm going to pop back over there so we can see what they have on the rest of their page. Anyway, I was talking about fiber, AT&T fiber out there. It's going to be one gig up, one gig down. Uh, I'm guessing about $75 a month. I'll pay it. I don't really need. But well, it does come in handy for like uploading a YouTube, especially having more than five up, having, the, you know, like I'm getting, I pay for 60 down here. I would love to have 60 up too instead of five up. There, 3.28. That happens sometimes. So let me go back over here and look at what we have. Let's see, Speakeasy, CNET. Have these little boxes down here. I'll put the link to this LifeWire.com. But this is not what I was uh, thinking it was, how it was going to be set up and how it was going to work. And uh, But if you want to find a site, if you're not happy or if you think you get more realistic results from someplace else, you'll have the link. So I thank you very much for watching.